Hi, Richard here from Padalero. Here to make a chocolate rose today using our own modeling chocolate. I've tinted it red to make a nice red chocolate rose. Okay, get it nice and malleable like that. work this chocolate. Use a little tiny bit of cornstarch. Keep it from sticking. Now I use a pasta machine to roll it out so I get a nice even thickness. This one is set on number four. It's about the right size I need. I'm using about nine to ten small petals and 9 to 10 of the what I call medium petal. We, we could make a larger rose, but this size is good enough. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, there's 10 of the small and 10 medium. Okay. Now we start rolling them, and all we really want to do is roll out this edge here to make it nice and thin. Start on the small one. This, I'm using a piece of, uh, basically it's from a plastic bag. You could use saran wrap, but I find it's just a little too thin. A plastic bag cut into a nice rectangular piece and taped to the table is all you need. Just roll it out, get a nice thin round end do this for each petal. Sit down, roll them out, get as thin as you can on the edge. Like that. Okay. okay, last petal. Medium sized petal. these. I have these already pre-made up. They're just another piece of modeling chocolate that's on a wire and I use wires that are normally used for uh, stem roses in a florist shop. Now I take those and I put that on there and I use a little damp cloth. Just a little bit of moisture on the end of the petal and I put that first petal on halfway up and I curl in the top edge and roll it over just like that. That's your first one. Second, a little dampness on it, a little bit higher than the first one. Also wrap it up. Keep it tight in the beginning. You don't want the rows to open up too quickly. And then your third one. Fourth. Now go halfway between the last petal, last petal, and this petal. You want to go there. Also going slightly higher, and I mean slightly. It's very little. On to the next one. Again, and just keep putting them on, and keeping them tight, especially for the small ones. Small petals should be fairly tight. If you've ever looked at a rose, you can see the center part of the rose is pretty tight with petals. And just keep going around. You can give it a little bit of texture here, make it look like it's a little bit older rose. Just keep coming around. Okay, also for the small rows, petals. Now we go on to the larger ones. Let's start putting the bigger ones on. Okay, still keeping it fairly tight, but giving it a little texture on the edge of each petal. Got.
further out. The more open you want to make them, keeping make sure that they stay out, quite high out. Pinch them off. This. And like that. Okay, put the last petal on. Make sure it stays in. A little bit of moisture. And there you have rose.